Hey guys, today we're gonna go over a little video on the beetles that are really starting to destroy the garden. I took a couple of pictures and also a couple of videos so I can show you guys what they do to the center and the petals of your sunflowers. They are little black beetles and also white flies. Let's go take a little look. On May 16th at 7.30 a.m., you can see we have a perfect sunflower. But by 1.30 p.m., we have a little intruder. He started tearing up the flower petals on the right hand side, as you can see in the picture. They also eat out all the seeds in the center and create holes in the middle of your sunflowers. So what I did was took a little stick and poked them till they backed on out of there. You can squish them if you want. I'll leave that totally up to you. If you don't, they might come back. We also have white flies creeping around the garden which like to put holes in your flower petals and your leaves. You can see what they did to my evening sun sunflower right here. If your leaves look like Swiss cheese, you know you got white flies. So I like to treat with my organic neem oil. I use one teaspoon of neem oil per gallon of water with a quarter teaspoon of dish soap. Any non-scented dish soap will work. If it's not mixed well, it will clump up and burn on your leaves. So make sure you're mixing that really well as you're spraying it. Never spray your plants in the direct sun or directly onto bees as it can harm them. I treat once every seven to 14 days or as needed. If I feel like I need it after the fifth day that I have a really bad infestation, I'll treat again. It also works for aphids, spider mites, and other creepers around the garden. Remember to test spray on a small portion of your plants on the bottom somewhere before you go ahead and treat the entire plant or your entire garden. It may cause burning to some plants like marigolds or succulent leaves. I don't spray my succulent leaves or my marigold plants with neem oil because they tend to be really sensitive to it. Everything else I grow around the garden gets treated with my neem oil on the foliage and in the soil. And that's how I keep my garden really healthy from pesky insects and bugs creeping around. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, comment below and I'd love to help you in any way I can. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.